Hey Raw Travelers, this is a quick video and it's to explain how to avoid the close-in fees on United Airlines. So as I said in many of my other videos, United Mileage Plus program is probably the best program to be a member of, especially if you are a U.S. person, you either live in the U.S., you have a U.S. citizenship, U.S. passport, whatever. Uh, United is part of the Star Alliance. There's presently something close to 30 airlines in the Star Alliance. And uh, they have the most availability and the most flexibility. And it might cost a little bit more for certain trips. But overall, United is the best program I've found. And I've been traveling for quite a long time. So, unfortunately, when you book an award flight with United Airlines and you need to travel less than three weeks from now, they tack on something called a close-in fee, and that fee is 75 U.S. dollars. Now, that's a lot of money. In, ca in fact, if you're only paying like $5 for a domestic flight, and you're tacking on an extra $75, and that's a hell of a lot more money than you need to spend. So I'm gonna show you a little trick. It's not absolutely unknown, it's quite well known, and if it was, wasn't was too well known, I probably wouldn't be showing it. But since it's pretty much well known, I'm gonna show an example. So let's say I was starting off in Los Angeles, and I wanted to fly to uh, I don't know, someplace in, let's just say I wanted to go to Boston. Boston. Okay. And I click on this box which says I wanted to search for award travel. So if you book something, so today actually is the 13th of August. So if you want to book something that's, let's say, two weeks away, the 27th of August, and I click on search. The system's going to look for the itineraries that are available. <clears throat> and here they are. Here's one. Okay, there's one at five hours and 36 minutes, but there's no availability unless you want to use business standard award. But if you go to the next one down, it's 12,500 miles and it's 2,828 baht. Now I'm going to change the number of baht into US dollars, 2828. So if I did 2828 Thai baht to US dollars, because I'm presently in Thailand, it does that. So that's over $80, it's $81.33. So you don't wanna spend $81.33 for a flight that you don't have to, right? So I'll show you what happens if I change the search criteria. So if I change the search criteria, and instead of going on the 27th, I made it three weeks later, like uh, make it three weeks from now, which will be after three weeks will be the 4th. So let me click on the 4th of September. And here's the new results. And here is the first flight. Well, this one is now available for five hours, but it's 25,000 miles. So I, don't, I wouldn't want to spend 25,000 miles. So I would probably go with this one. Anyways, that's asking me to sign in. I'm not going to sign in. So anyways, you can see it's 12,500 miles plus 200 baht. Now I'll show you what 200 baht is. 200 baht is $5.75. So that's a big difference, the difference of $75. $75 is the close-in fee that you'd be paying because you're booking something that's in 
that's coming up in less than three weeks. If you're out three weeks, over three weeks actually, it has to be three weeks plus one day over three weeks, and then you pay this much, much smaller fee. So what you can do is you book this one with the small fee. You book it, you pay for it with your credit card, and after it sends you a confirmation, you'll get a confirmation email. The booking will show up in your United Mileage account. And then you can just click on Manage Reservations inside your United Airlines account. And then you can click on a link that says to change your reservation. Because if you do this within 24 hours, there's no fee. And then you can change the dates of this flight to another date that they have the same flight available. In other words, the 12,500 miles. <clears throat> and it could be within three weeks. And the system will not charge you the $75 closing fee. So that's a little trick that I would hope that people who need to travel within three weeks use. Uh, I don't suggest you tell too many people about it. I mean, it's not unknown. It's pretty well known, this trick. But if you tell everybody in the world about it, it might not work anymore. So that's another little trick from The Raw Traveler. I hope everybody is having a good day and we'll hopefully see you on a flight real soon.